Hello, John here, the Warhammer Modeler. Continuing my series on converting models, starting with the very basics, last video had a look at cutting off the shoulder pads to replace those. If you want to watch that video, the link will be in the description. Today we're going to have a look at a few other things. First thing we're going to have a look at, it's quite a simple conversion that you can do, which is head swaps. So, as an example here, we have the unconverted the unconverted intercessor here with the standard head and then we just have a swapped out head of a space wolf from the space wolf sprue that you can get this is a very simple thing to do and anyone can do it whether you've just started the hobby or you've been doing it years most people do it all the time now one thing I do with these models which are the monopose models so they're in a standard pose you don't really choose what pose they are I build them without the heads generally in the instructions it tends to say put the heads in first and then as you push fit them the head clamps in place what they do have on the underside of them is a little post with a bit that clips inside as you push fit it in and it holds it in place. What I tend to do with these is I cut these stalks off completely. So what this allows me to do when I cut this off is position this head pretty much any way let's get that in focus pretty much any way that I want it to be. So I'm not restricted with whereabouts that's going to go. It's a very simple conversion, something that I do quite a lot and other people do. If you're starting out in the hobby, it's a good one to start with just to get a bit of confidence up on changing a model. So we can move that around wherever we want. Little bit of glue and we'll put that in place. So the next thing I want to have a look at is replacing arms. Here are two of the intercessors, an unconverted one and a converted one. You can see on this one I've actually adjusted the head as I previously said, so I've positioned a different head looking in a different direction. Also used a different gun arm from the set and another arm altogether from the Space Wolves sprue so he's pulling a knife out rather than holding the chainsaw. Now this is a really simple conversion as well so what you end up with if we have a look at this model just here where you have the little stalk coming up out of your model all you actually need to do is cut that off and then you can place any other arm in that place it's quite a simple thing to do just a case of cutting that off So we actually have here the parts of an unmade assault intercessor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through building this and the processes that I go through. I've already taken off the shoulder pad so I can add, there it is, so I can add the shoulder pad I want to this. What I'm also going to do is replace one arm with this grenade throwing arm. This is from the Raven Guard upgrade sprue you can get. So I'm going to use that instead. So we're going to end up replacing the arm on that one. And also I've got a different head that I'm going to use for this guy. So to get started, these are push fit, so you can actually just push fit them together. I tend to always use a little bit of glue on these to put them together. When I do this, I make sure that I don't put any glue into these holes. Reason being, it can cause a bit of an airlock and it doesn't let you push them down far enough and it leaves a bit of a gap. But all I want to do 
is put a little bit of glue in a few spots so when I push this together the push fit still works but it's now gluing it in place so when I cut the shoulder pad off this one it leaves that hole in place then as I bring this in you can see that not too bad in this case but that stalk could sit proud of the shoulder so you can just run your knife gently across it just to flatten that off. I'm not going to worry about gluing this back in place right now because when I put the shoulder pad on the bit of glue will glue onto that stalk and hold the arm in place. But for now I'm just going to gently take that off and put it to one side. So, I want to put this arm onto this side rather than using the bolt pistol arm that it would normally have. So I want to trim this stalk off using my knife. I'm carefully just going to cut through it. You never want to force your knife too much in case it goes flying around and you hurt yourself. We just gently cut that off and smooth it flat. So the arm will now sit in place. Now one thing I want to do is make sure this arm goes in the right position. So what I'm going to do is position this guy on the base and I always have blue tack nearby so I can stick things in place and see what they look like before gluing or anything like that. So as I put this in place I can see actually that's going to work quite nicely it looks quite natural in that position what I don't want to end up doing is gluing it in place and having an elbow sticking out in the wrong place like that so using a bit of blue tack allows you to kind of work out exactly what position you want it in so make sure I take the blue tack off and then again with a small bead of glue I tend to like using the plastic glue rather than super glue just because of the way that it works because it melts the plastic slightly and it gives you a little bit of time to move things and maneuver them so as I look at this I like the position that's in it looks in the right position so I'm happy with that I'm going to leave that like that so as this is a um, and from the upgrade kit it doesn't have a shoulder pad on this so I'm going to need to use another shoulder pad to put on here so again a little spot of glue and then I'm just going to position this gently in place and make sure it sits where I want it. So I'm going to put this chainsaw arm back on now. So it clips in place still. Let's just position this shoulder pad and see how it fits. So it looks like on this one it doesn't quite fit all the way down. So I'm going to have to trim another little bit off it. So whenever you take these shoulder pads off, it's worth taking the time just to keep shaving a few little bits of the plastic off so it will allow you to put the replacement shoulder pads on. So as you can see, as I hold it in place, there's a, quite a big gap there, which means I need to take some more of it off from just here. So I'm just going to gently shave a little bit off at a time with my scalpel. In the previous video I did it is just a case of shaving a little bit off. If you have to adjust it once you've done it that's fine. It doesn't matter what this bit looks like as it's going to get covered by the shoulder pad anyway. 
so let's see how that fits. That fits a bit better. There's still something stopping it to a certain degree. I think it's that edge just there. So I'm going to just bring this down, taking some off, and then there's still a stubborn bit somewhere there. I think it's just around that top line, so I'm actually going to just take that off for now. And yeah, so taking this off and looking here, we can see there's a bit around here that I haven't quite taken off properly. So I'm just going to shave that off. And then use the flat of the blade just to scrape off any other bits. So when you're doing this, especially for the first time, just take your time while you're doing it. You don't have to rush it. It's your model. If you want to change all the shoulder pads or none of the shoulder pads, you can do that. That's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. So, what I tend to do with the shoulder pads is put a little bit more glue on around the place than I would normally do. Because this melts the plastic, it allows you to kind of push out any bits that aren't quite right. So, as I put it in place, I'll probably find that I haven't put the glue in quite the right place for now. No, there we go. So we just hold that gently in place. It's moving around quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is add a bit more glue along the back and the front. Careful not to put loads on, but I'm quite happy to put quite a bit on just to hold it all in place. top back on the glue. So there we now have our space wheel shoulder pad, replacement arm with the other shoulder pad on it there. I want to put the head on it now. So I have this head. This came with the Space Wolf Battle Leader, I think that's what he was called, this guy just here. It was his alternative head. So you'll find whenever you're doing little conversions, keep all of the parts from other kits because it'll allow you to add details and things to other things. So as you can see it's got that little thing on the end. It actually fits quite nicely but it's not exactly the position that I want. Although not too bad actually. So I'm going to trim off that little stalk on this one. So just carefully trim that away. And then run some glue around the inside of the hole where the head will go and then I'm just going to put this in place. So now this is going to be a case of playing around until I'm happy with where it's going to sit. Turn that around slightly. This is why I prefer the plastic glue over the super glue. It just gives me that time to kind of play around. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now I'm only going to push fit the back pack on for now. Ease of painting later on if I want to take it off, I can do. Now I want to add an extra detail to this. So from the Space Wolf upgrade, there is a little wolf necklace with a rune and a tooth on it and I want to add this to this one. In a later video I'm going to talk about, especially with simple conversions like this, what I feel how much is too much when you're adding details. Is there too much? We'll discuss in a later video. So, what I want to do is put this in place so we have a bit more of a dynamic position because the necklace will be kind of moving and it'll be gapped away from the body. There'll be a gap between the breastplate and so on. So using my clumsy thumbs, let's put a dab of glue 
on each end of this. Now, don't worry if you get it in the wrong place. You can move it around, reposition it and so on, but just take your time when you do it. Especially if it's your first conversions and you haven't got many parts to use. So I just want to sit that up there. That's worked out quite nicely. I'm just going to hold this up slightly and with my knife I'm just going to push the edge in so it glues in place. I don't want it sitting flat against the body because I want it to look a little bit dynamic. So, there we go. A nice simple conversion. The shoulder pad, as I said in the other video, shaved that off and put a new shoulder pad on. We've replaced an arm and chopped the stalk off, put another shoulder pad on, a different head and another little bit of a detail. And there we have a Space Wolf Assault Intercessor. Now I'm going to carry on doing these videos, increase the complexity of the conversions and things as I go. But for now, if you've got any questions about this, put them in the comments. If you've got any ideas of videos you'd like to see me do, put that in the comments as well. As I've said before, I do this for fun. When I get a chance, I'll try and do some videos. So there may be gaps in between the length of time between each video, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe, and as I said, post any comments. See you later.